In this study, we've looked at gamma hydroxybutyrate and gamma butylactone, which are quite dangerous drugs that have been used recently in quite a few cases in terms of date rape and um, robberies as well. It's easy to put into people's drinks because it's colourless and doesn't smell and it also the effects appear like you've had too much to drink. So what we've looked at in terms of being able to detect it in samples like lager, which we've done here, is to actually look at a colorimetric analysis which is a quite a simple test which just involves adding a couple of chemical reagents and then we see the development of a dark purple color being formed for gamma butylactone and gamma hydroxybutyrate in the sample. We were looking at using novel smartphone camera technology to use the camera and a little bit of software easily downloaded and free and a bit of maths to quantify the purple color you got and turn it into a numerical result which could be used to um, identify the amount of the, uh, the drug in a drink. The app we used was a colour picker app, they're called. So essentially you point it at a colour and it tells you the name of the colour, the red, green, blue values for it, which are the ones we used. Conceptually, this would seem quite an obvious thing to do that we could actually react the drug to make a colour. This has been done before, but no one has actually ever looked at trying to use smartphone technology to actually be able to do on-site concentrations of and that's something quite new and it's led to a successful publication with my undergraduate student Al Salmo. I was really pleased when um, we found out that it was approved to be um, published in a journal. I was very happy with the piece of work initially and um, to have that was, was great. I think the smartphone has taken the role of so many things, it's your camera, your calculator, your entertainment system in your pocket and now to be potentially used as a forensic tool is really really interesting and exciting.